Good morning, everyone. I'm Matthew, and we are the Scoops. All right, so for this morning, we're actually going to start transplanting our starts here. Now, all week we've been going through and uh, hardening them off. Um, actually talked a little bit about that in our last video so again just kind of recap basic idea is you bring them out each morning uh, before it gets too hot before they're you know in just the blazing direct sunlight um, starting with just like maybe 20 30 minutes at a time and as you feel comfortable you know keep the keep an eye on the plants um, but you're trying to extend the amount of time that they're outside uh, because if you start them indoors they're not used to the temperature differences they're not used to the wind they're not used to, to uh, direct sunlight and so you have to kind of acclimate them to that so I've been doing that um, I probably should have started these earlier as far as hardening them off um, but it is what it is they were outdoors the entire day yesterday and they did well now part of them doing well was the fact that we did kind of keep moving them, um, not really necessary. We kept them in the shade most of the time. And so, because um, we just kept an eye on them all day. And if they started looking a little puny because of the heat and whatnot, we just kind of adjust where they were at. And we'll be able to continue to do that even once we get them transplanted because we use containers. And that's kind of one of the benefits of being able to use containers uh, in an area like this is if need be I can move them so if the plants look like hey look they're not dealing with the Sun too well I can move them into the shade and they'll probably be okay um, I did notice that on my corn starts here some of the roots were beginning to get exposed <laughs> Probably gonna have to kind of drop those down just a little bit, kind of like you would uh, tomatoes. Obviously, nowhere near as deep. Uh, these plants don't look like they're designed for that, but I am gonna have to plant them a little deeper than I probably normally would. And then, of course, all the bean starts in here, uh, they actually look pretty decent. Those I'm actually going to put up along the trellis. Um, I think I'm actually gonna use the middle trellis. Just because once these start climbing and attaching to the trellis, I actually won't be able to move those ones. So I'd rather, if need be, have to move shading. Just again, because I won't be able to move those. So let's get to it.
All right, so that's pretty much all the corn and the beans, minus a few um, random ones that we have in here. We'll get to those here in a little bit. Um, we do still have zucchini. We still have the butternut squash, uh, okra that we have to plant. We'll see how many bags we actually still have here. I think we're actually running out of space here. So we may end up having to figure out how to get a couple more bags together here real quick. So, but uh, I'm gonna have some coffee first and then get back to it. All right, so we've pretty much filled up every bag that we've already amended and we've ran out of space. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead, go get some more soil and uh, fill up some more bags. So let's get to it. All right, so we just got back from the store and picked up some uh, uh, more stuff for mixing up some soil. Uh, cause we're going to go ahead, we've got the two shallow 100 gallon bags that we're going to go ahead and top off. Uh, we're going to use one for our zucchini plants, one for the butternut squash plants. Then we also have another 30 gallon bag that we're going to go ahead and top off as well. Now whether or not we have to create any additional bags, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to uh, which is fine because I think we got enough stuff for at least a couple additional bags it depends on how much the hundred gallon bags take up so we'll see let's get the mixing This is still just as tiresome as it was last time. I'm sure it gets better. We actually had a couple of small onions in here. All right. All right, mixing round two. All right, so we got these two back here filled. We got the last 30 gallon bag that we hadn't touched filled. Uh, that of course used everything that we just picked up for our mixture. Uh, I think we, uh, I think I underestimated the size of these bags back here, but now we can transplant the uh, zucchini and the butternut squash and a couple other things. So let's see 
how much further we can get going here before we uh, call it a day. So we've finished filling or refilling, topping off, whatever, uh, the remainder of the bags that we actually have in place right now. And we still have starts left over, a lot of them. We can't keep them in the starting trays any longer. Uh, they're just, they're too big. So it's time to up pot them. Now that's why we've had several uh, like flowers and various other plants that we've purchased as starts. And some of them came in you know, different size containers and we saved them. We saved all those containers or nearly all those containers and they are some of them considerably larger than those starting cells. So what we're going to do we just got we have uh, some regular old uh, uh, potting soil so we're going to use that because that's what we have. We're going to fill up as many of these as we can and transplant those starts into these larger containers uh, until we're able to actually get some more grow bags actually filled and ready to go. So and that's gonna pretty much do it for us today. I think we've done pretty much all I can do. Let's take a quick walk through here and show you what we got going on now. Alright, and there you have it. A bunch of transplants in their containers. Hopefully most of them survive. So that's going to do it for us today. So if you made it this far, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.